Hello Easy. So I've been buying quite a lot of new music and I'll show them. First used CDs at Discogs. Here's La Planète Zavage. An excellent uh, film music. Also an excellent movie. The artist uh, is called uh, Alan Groger. Pronounced terribly wrong, probably. Highly recommendable. Next we have the Son of Youth, Evil. An early Son of Youth album with some quite good songs on it. Tom Violence is a great song. Um, also, there is a great song called Shadow of a Doubt. Another Sonic Youth album, Sister. Also decent, very decent album. Has some good songs on it. Um, have to check. It all blurs into, into each other. Yes, Schizophrenia, it's a great song. Cat Catholic Block, also a great, great tune. And the fans least liked Sonic Youth album, New York City Ghosts and Flowers, which isn't that bad. It's very ar artsy, I would say. But yeah, it's probably somewhere in the middle of their big discography. I would never recommend anyone starting with this album. Then we have stuff I've ordered from uh, from uh, Ape Records or Bur Burning Shed. Here we have Alan Partridge from Ecstasy with uh, Peter Blegwald from Slap Happy and uh, Faust uh, member. And it's a CD and a DVD. It includes a signed card and it also includes a game, card game made up by these guys. And you can also mix three of the songs just as you like. That should be the new standard of any CD, DVD, where, where you can mix, uh, mix the songs just as you like. I did the mix on, of uh, one, one of these songs and I just removed the vocals and I liked it better. This is actually, was actually quite cheap uh, at Burning Shed or Ape Records. I think I paid 15 quids for it and it's absolutely worth it. And I had to pick up uh, Andy Partridge uh, apples and oranges. They were, were also very kind. Uh, they sent uh, a signed uh, postcard. I forgot to bring it. But yeah. Then we have stuff I got from Action Records. The Olivia Trouble Control. This is a promotion, pr promo version of this album you can prob probably see on the cover why i ordered a new one i've had this since i was about 15 years old and i think maybe my cat maybe some water maybe some cat pee yeah <laughs> So I got this uh, promo copy Sheep, it's an incredibly great album. Uh, if you like Beatles, Psychedelia, you should check out the Olivia Tremor Control. And at Cherry Red, I had to have the 2 CD edition of Zeit by Tangerine Dream. The extra disc is okay, but the main album is a masterpiece. If I can recommend one ambient album from the early 70s, I'd probably say Sight by Tangerine Dream. 
It's a perfect album to fall asleep to. And it also have um, um, Florian um, from Popel Vu as a guest. Fl Florian uh, Fricke. It's a masterpiece. It's definitely definitely in my top five Tangerine Dream albums. More from Cherry Red. Yes, I had to have the two CD edition of Nectar. Sounds like this. People, some people think these the, they are from Germany. They are not. They are British, but they lived and uh, played in Germany. Progressive rock, psych rock. This is more of a. This is their jam live in studio album. Not their best, but it is in my top five. Again, Action Records. This one I got used and the CD was completely mint. And it's a masterpiece. Uh, Robert White from Soft Machine quit Soft Machine because he weren't allowed to sing. <laughs> so he uh, left them and he formed Matching Mole, which means uh, in French uh, machine mole means soft machine. This is an expanded edition and it's fantastic. It includes a peel session or BBC session and it includes uh, three early takes from the album. Here is the art the cover originally were stolen from. As you can see. No, they are not communists. <laughs> if you like uh, Soft Machine 3 and 4, you should definitely definitely check out uh, The Little Red Record by Matching Bowl, produced by uh, King Crimson's uh, Robert Fripp. It's, it's a great album. Try this before the first one. Sadly, they only released two albums, as uh, Robert White broke his uh, broke his legs <coughs> and quit drumming. Again, from Cherry Red, Fruit. It's an Irish prog band, and I'm waiting all of their CDs now. After I bought this uh, compilation. Which uh, is an acquired acquired the uh, taste, um, but a lot of songs grow grow on you. They were seen as a kind of a clone of uh, all the prop bands, but I think they're kind of unique the way they uh, play play their songs and compose the songs. We move on. Action records uh, from England. Finally, I got to buy this uh, live archive album by Soft Machine. One of the very last concerts with Robert White, as we talked about, and also Elton Dean. They quit. Soft Machine were, were a very fluid <laughs> band. This is from September or March 1971, and <laughs> it's one hell of a concert. If you need one live Soft Machine album, this is a good choice, but there are others. This one I got free because I did some dirty work for, uh, I won't mention the label or anything. Sadly, the artist passed away a couple of years ago. And if you can see here, they actually thank certain someone <laughs> this I got free they sent me three free copies that's not every day this one I had back in the days but I was stupid I bought the vinyl remasters they sucked I also bought the CD remastered they also sucked so I got some, some machine one and volume two 
back again as the as the um, best press best master version, big beat version. Stay away from every other pressing. It's, it it is this one you want. I had it, sold it because I upgraded and I regretted it. So I got the big beat version again. I think I ordered this directly from the label. I'm not sure what label, but it didn't cost too, too much. Some more discogs. This one I bought uh, from uh, a Russian seller, so it's probably a Russian counterfeit. But hey, I'm not the biggest uh, Flame Ellipse fan. So, so for the price, it was totally worth worth it. The same goes for this one, which is quite good. I need to listen more, but uh, Flame Lips, uh, they, they have done so much various music, everything from commercial pop to avant-garde to prog rock to you name it, you name it. This one I got from WOW HD CD and it's quite cool, it has most of the mono mixes, it's all, all the singles the Doors released. Of course I have all the songs but uh, these are unique mixes, so, so I had to have it. It even features the EPs, the 7 inches after Jim Morrison passed away. Which some hate, some like, some think it's okay. I've listened to The Doors since I was 8 years old, so I like everything they have done. And we, here we have uh, Reju Sakamoto from Yellow Magic o Orchestra. This one cost me a lot of money. I, I don't know, We Want Sound, it's probably a hipster label. But it sounds fantastic. If you like Kraftwerk, if you like avant-garde, if you like classical music, you should definitely check out his first solo album. This and also his uh, second B2 unit. Highly recommendable. Better than anything of Yellow Magic Orchestra or, uh, or, or, or the other members of that band. And the last diamond, the residence, Wormwood Box. This was too cheap. I bought it from iMusic and I bought, uh, I paid, I think, 60 hours. And <laughs> there are nine, yes, nine CDs. This one has been released before, of course. This one is the original album which looks like this this and this were released in limited edition digipack to uh, thousand copies only so so I'm very glad these were included because I don't want to pay hundred hours just to get them and here and here we have the demo versions never released before Another great surprise was this concert, Live the Fillmore 1997, never before released. Here we have all the odds and sods, some released, others not released. And yes, a book booklet. And uh, the entire album is uh, Curious Stories from the Bible. Mostly the Old Testament. I won't go into details about this, but it's a very fascinating uh, uh, album, and uh, the stories are. Uh, you won't believe the, the stories until you actually read the lyrics and also find your Bible or look it up in the Bible. The beauty. Of this album is everything is uh, 
written down where you can find it. I'll end it with this quote. The third angel blew his trumpet and a great star shot from the sky flaming like a torch and it fell on a third of the rivers and springs. The name of the star was Wormwood. It's from Revelation 8.10. So there you have it. Bye bye VC. Until next time.